Hey everyone, thank you for watching Meet Your Nominee. I am so delighted because we have Marina de Tavera here today. How are you? Great, I'm really happy to talk to you. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Congratulations on your nomination. What was your first, I guess, reaction when you found out you were nominated and that Roma received so many nominations? Well, it was quite a surprise. I really was not expecting to be nominated myself. I was hoping that Roma could get some nominations and I, of course I was watching. And so when I heard my name, it, it was one of the first categories to be announced. Yeah. So I. So you I, watched the telecast? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. cool. I, I went to wake up my son for school and then went back to my room to, to watch. And then I started screaming and he came like, what's happening? What's happening? And I'm like, I got nominated. And he's like, what? But you mean the film? No, me. And, and so he says, like, does this mean I, I get to skip school? <laughs> and I said, no. But it was really, I mean, I'm so grateful. I, I never thought that they would like take the time to look at Sophia. I think it's, it's a character that doesn't pop out like immediately in the film. So it they, does. She well, does. She yeah, really maybe. Does. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but I'm really grateful. To, uh, there's no words. Now you have said the nominations for Roma, and specifically with you and Yolita making history with both of your nominations, has meant so much to Mexico. Can you talk about that? Well, it's it's crazy. I, my phone started to to. That's when I realized that it was true. Yeah. When my phone started like to go crazy, and I said, "No, I'm, I'm not confusing reality. This really happened." And then we were in interviews when I was in Mexico, and in interviews from 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. Like the whole country was talking about that, all the news, and and also all my fellow uh, actors, friends were like really. They felt it like if it were their own. That's so special. Yeah. Now, in joining Romo, what were your initial conversations with Alfonso like? I know there wasn't a script attached, no. but what, what drew you to this project and, and what do you guys Well, it was a long auditioning process and and I didn't know that who the director was going to be until the end of the process. And then I met Alfonso uh, the, uh, for the last audition and then one more time when, with Yalitza and me together. And we had a, uh, and then I had a very long conversation with Alfonso about his mother. He told me everything about her, like when the children uh, were born, how was their relationship with, with his father, when the uh, Libo, the real Cleo, entered their lives and what that meant to the family, that they actually went and lived with Sofia's mother, well, Christina's mother. That's the house where the, the story takes place. It's the grandma's house. So he, he told me all the story, and then he stopped he, just at the moment where we were going to start filming. And we did this in chronological order. So he didn't say any more. He yeah. just stopped there, and he told me, you're having, you, you're having trouble with your husband. You, you, you know that he may leave. You know what's been happening. And that's where it started. So that first scene where Sofia enters the house just to have lunch with the kids, she already knows what's going to happen. That's before they were writing the letters, right? She had them yeah. write it and say. Mm -hmm. One thing that really like just got to me is when she told him to write. Make sure you say you miss him a lot. Yeah. Oh, I know that scene. That scene we did it sixty four times. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was. It's, it's a long take. One one take. Yeah. Long. And uh, oh, yeah, he kept wonderful. like changing things, like making the kids do different things, and I had to control them. I knew what I had to say, but I could, I was also dealing with unexpected things that they would do. And yes, I think, and also she's she has a strong, strong emotion, but it's always pulled down. I remember in that scene that he would tell me, like when it came to the surface, like the pain. He would send me to the room, to Sophia's yeah. room upstairs, because it was a house, the actual house, and he, he would say, like, cry it all out and then come back. Because this needs to be, he, she would never allow herself to show to her show children she where she's going. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> what, I guess, was the biggest takeaway for you from this film? I mean, it's impacted so many people, it's so powerful. What has stuck with you through this award season and, and talking about it, and what has really stuck with you? Well, I'm really surprised the way that people have been relating to the film. Yeah. I, 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 I can't relate to it very much because it's Mexico, because my family story is very much like Alfonso's story. My mom went through the same process that as Sofia and Cristina. But I never thought that people like all around the world will feel the same. And that's been beautiful. Like people come to us and say, oh, you remind me of my mother or of my grandmother. I remember this from my childhood. And I think we all, all are grateful when we can relive things that we thought they were gone forever. Yeah. 
Now you've been acting for a while, but your co-star Yulitsa is kind of being thrown into this as her first acting role. What advice has, have you given her? Well, not actually. Uh, yeah. I mean, she's great. <clears throat> she she really embraced the character from the very first day with great conviction. So for me, she was always clear. We re we really didn't talk about acting or anything like that because Alfonso didn't want that kind of process. Yeah. He even worked with me a lot not to be working with a certain technique or, or actress technique. He would like just say, I really, this is different. You really have to just surrender yourself to the, to the character and to what's happening without thinking, uh, I'm going to do this or like in an intellectual kind of way. Yeah. I mean, when you first met her, though, what were those conversations like with her about this? Oh, project? we would just talk about life. Life, yeah. Life, like I, the first conversation was about his her nephew. She just had she was there sitting for the first time in Mexico City. She came from Oaxaca. She was a little bit like, I really don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm here, and and then we were left alone for for quite a while. And I just asked her about her family. Where, how many uh, brothers do you have? How many sisters? And she said, I have a, a nephew, that, and I really miss him, and I, I, I want to go back and see him. That, that's what we talked about. That's so sweet. Now, both of you have so much to celebrate. When the Oscars airs on Sunday, who have you met that has really stuck out to you during this whole process? Oh, the list is enormous. Yeah. I, 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 We're, well, we got time. I know. <laughs> Well, I've met like actresses I admire, from, like obviously Glenn Close, Kate Blanchett. I met her in Venice. All my fellow nominees, which are fantastic. Did they have a reaction to your role in, in Roma? Did they say anything? Well, I haven't had a chance to talk to them a lot. I, yeah. I, I got a chance to talk with with Rachel in the Oscar nominees luncheon, and and she said she she really didn't recognize me first because, like, uh, in the in the film, there's we're wearing no makeup yeah. and it's black and white, and Sophia is like all like. She's going through a lot, so she said, "Oh my God, it's you! I didn't recognize you. I mean, I saw the film, but it, she's she's lovely." Uh, another fun Oscars question for you. Obviously, the show is going to be hostless this year. Mm -hmm. Who, if you could pick a host, would you have wanted to see on that stage? Melissa McCarthy. Okay. <laughs> Did you see? Can you ever forgive me? Oh my God, we were talking about that just in uh, my way here. What what she did is amazing. She really built a character that you really can feel compassionate about her. But sometimes you hate her. But sometimes you, I mean, she's and 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 the way she portrays her pain and her loneliness and so beautiful. What are you looking forward to most about the telecast? Um, what can I say? It's uh, just a dream. I, I didn't even dare to dream. Now, speaking of your seat and sitting in the audience and, and with the film of Roma, um, if you could choose your seat at Oscars, though, who would you want to sit next to? Anyone. Well, Alfonso, anyone. Alfonso, because he's the Besides one. Besides Alfonso. He's the one that brought me there. It's, it's his fault. That's what I told him. What have you done to my life? <laughs> yeah. Well, who would you want to dance with at the after parties on the Oscars night? Mm, that's a question. Richard E. Grant. Okay. <laughs> Do you think he's a good dancer? I think he he's really charming. <laughs> now, upcoming for you, you have a play through your theater production company. Can you kind of talk about that and what else we can expect from you coming up? Well, yeah, I, I, I have to go back to Mexico because I have a, um, a theater company and I have a play that I'm going back to do that play. It's called Skylight. It's by David Hare, a British author. Uh, I think it was here in New York done by uh, Carrie Mulligan. Yeah. And I, I'm going to go back yeah. to do it and then I really maybe would like to live here. It's a oh, nice well, yeah. yeah. Make a move. Yeah, Max. Everybody's been so nice and welcoming with us, so I don't know. <laughs> so I can't wait to watch you on Oscars yeah. night. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>